I'm Kelsey Zeiser, Senior Editor at Light Reading, and we're here at the Big Communications event in Austin. And I'm joined by Kevin Sahim with GTT. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah, so we were just on a panel together about SD-WAN and how the market is evolving. What are your thoughts on how the conversation is changing around SD-WAN and uh, how are enterprise demands changing and, and how are you meeting those as a service provider? Uh, first, uh, partnerships are very important uh, in the discussion surrounding SD-WAN and the amount of relationships that a uh, company can bring to bear. So GTT is a company of partnerships, uh, over 2,000 uh, vendor partnerships. Uh, a lot of talk was uh, discussed ab about the underlay, and so that underlay maintains its uh, relevancy from a circuit perspective, and having the ability to provide many underlay options uh, provides that relevancy, at least for GTT. Uh, as a trusted technology partner. Mm -hmm. And what are maybe some uh, barriers that still exist for deployment from your enterprise customers? Are they concerned about application performance, security? What are some concerns there? Uh, as they're more familiar with the capabilities of SD-WAN, we're seeing a wider um, adoption or desire to adopt SD-WAN services. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it really comes down to the ubiquitous use of the already uh, purchased infrastructure, uh, like the circuits. Uh, maintaining a primary secondary is no longer relevant, and always active on both use cases. Uh, aligning their policy decisions becomes easier in SD-WAN. Security uh, in a disaggregated environment um, is, is definitely a concern. Uh, service providers have the opportunity to provide hybrid security uh, components. So I'm not seeing security as a barrier. I'm okay. not seeing uh, circuit adoptions as a barrier. Uh, as you can see from the forum, I think what we're seeing is a lack of understanding or a unified interpretation of what SD-WAN char characteristics bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And so building off of that, uh, are standards necessary and, and what efforts are, are being done around standards for SD-WAN? I, I think standards are absolutely necessary. Uh, you know, if we can't agree on definitions to begin <laughs> with, um, we have a problem. But standards, uh, so the work that MEF is doing, the work that ONAP is doing on the enterprise side and MEF on the MSP side is very important uh, to ongoing uh, adoption of SD-WAN. Well, thanks for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, Kelsey, and for having me. Uh, really appreciative of light reading and the work that they're doing in the industry. So.